Hi and welcome to What EV, an exciting new channel aiming to showcase the latest EV cars and technology, as well as taking you on our personal journey of EV ownership. For our launch episode, we're kicking things off from our 2016 Nissan Leaf Tecna, with the first episode in our Leaf Ownership series. In this vlog, we're going to cover purchase and pickup, as well as featuring the all-important Leaf Spy battery analysis. So if you fancy joining us on our journey, be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell to receive alerts of all future videos. So we are in Colin Appleyard Nissan in Keithley. Uh, we're checking out our 30 kilowatt generation 2 Leaf. Uh, we've got Leaf Spy and we've got an OBD2 port plugged into our OBD2 connector. So just checking out Leaf Spy before we progress with a purchase. We can see that the car appears to have had a full charge and we've got 115 miles in the range. Uh, we've got 12 full bars of capacitance. So we all look good from that point of view, but just taking a look at Leaf Spy, it's a very nice car. We're just going to have a look, and on Leaf Spy we are showing, if we look here, we have a state of health for the battery of 94.15%, so that's really good. We're showing 19 quick charges and 209 level 1, level 2, so that appears to be uh, pretty good. It's not been overcharged or anything. Uh, we've had a look at the uh, Nissan battery report. And a Nissan battery report shows five stars in all categories. Um, if we swipe across, we can see that we've got 330 gids. I can't remember what it was meant to start with, but we'll throw that up on screen. Okay, and then just going back, we're going to select uh, the settings option. So if we select settings, what we can do is we can turn the service screen on. Okay, so we've turned the service screen on, we're going to go back and we can now see that there's five screens that we can look at. So if we scroll across those, we should now get the service screen here and we're going to read the ECU versions. Okay, so the advantage of this is it lets us know what uh, battery pack software there is installed. So we can see down the bottom, third from the top, we've got 4NR4C. So it was the 4A initial software that was the problem software that demonstrated early degradation on the batteries or highlighted that it might be the case. Nissan felt that that was a software issue. A software update was installed and this restored battery charge to a slightly healthier level. So that software update's already been made on this vehicle. Happy days. Okay, so just taking a look around the vehicle. All looks in good order. We've got 10,000 miles on the clock. Okay, so very happy with that. To have 94% state of health is really good. So what we're going to do now is we're just going to check what charger it's got. So if we look at the buttons here, the top left button scrolls between on the pages. So if you watch, we're just going to push that and you'll notice that it's 97% charged. Average speed of 19.4. Driving distance there, so that's just a clock odometer sort of thing. Okay. And then it says here, time to estimated charge. Well, it's on full charge. Now, if it was a 
6.6 charger, we might see two different levels there. We might see a three kilowatt and a six kilowatt and the time it would take to 100% charge. So we're pretty sure that this is a three kilowatt charger. Bit of a shame, it would have been nice to have got a billy bonus thrown in, but generally looking around the car, looks to be in good condition. So down by the drive selector here, tends to get a little bit marked around here. Um, this all looks in pretty good condition, it does. Let's just open it up and have a look. Yep, we're all immaculate here, down by the switch gear, everything's okay. And if we just check, the heated seats are working. So we can see that they're turning on. Okay, I have a quick look in the glove box what we've got left in there. So we've got a locking wheel nut by the looks of that. So we want to make sure that's always present. If we get a puncture down the road, we're going to be in a bit of difficulty. Not got any mats installed, but we're going to have a chat with the salesman, Dave, about that. He's uh, assured us that we'll get something sorted there. So all looking very good. I'm just going to slip our OBD2 port back on. So if you look at the port or the cover, rather, you've got these two tabs that goes at the top. So you just slide them in and then you just push the port or the cover back in place and you can hear it snap back in place. So that's neatly covered back over now. OK, we're going to have a quick check that the, uh, the electric wing mirrors work. So we'll just again turn the ignition on. We've set that to right, so that should move. Yeah, no, we're happy with that. And then we're just going to check the same with the left hand side wing mirror happy days that's working let's just set that to a comfortable position for us for driving it's pointing down a little bit at the moment okay and we'll do the same with the right hand one I don't know why they've got those looking down at the floor but there we go that's uh, looking a little bit better so we know that those work we'll put that back into the central position may as well just check so we've got the window lock on so we'll just check that the windows work it looks like we've got to turn the car on to get that working So, car's on now, windows go down, automatically all the way down, all the way up. Same on the left hand side, all the way down, all the way back up again. Okay, happy with the windows. We're just going to check that it works with the window switch over on this side. Yeah. Happy days with that. What have we got in the rear? Oh good, we've got electric in the rear as well, we'll have a check on those in a minute. So we've just come around the back to the boot, so we can see that we've got the Bose, uh, what is it, a subwoofer in the back. We've got the optional extra by the looks of it, no, it's the standard carpet inlay in here. And then we've got uh, the charger, we just want to make sure it's present here. So that is our three pin plug charging port, so that looks good, um, happy with that. So we've got the other charger inside with uh, the salesman David. We're just going to open up this because again just on the inside you should have a little little tool kit. Yeah the tool kit is present and this is a little uh, that's a little tire inflator and what's the little thing we've got here? Let's have a look at this. Conti mobility kit use only with tubeless passenger car tires so that looks like some form of tire sealant we'll have a explore of that at a later stage so it looks like we've got the important bits in there let's just have a look in what's in here so it's just a towing eye by the looks of that so we'll just have another look so that's uh, that's all present and correct which is good so we can pop that back inside and we'll slip that in there so it's nicely held in place We'll pop the uh, cover back on. Okay, all neatly in place. So there's very little, if any, you can't really see any marking on the plastic in here. Boot condition's in lovely condition. He's not had his garden wear in the back or anything like that. No evidence of any damage on the back sill. Okay, very happy with how this one looks. Okay, so we'll just pop the boot lid back down. Okay, we've got the optional um, charging point, so the solar panel on the top that charges up the 12 volt battery. Puts a little bit of charge in it, I think we should say. It certainly doesn't put any charge in the actual car. Just looking down the side of the car, I think we're happy. We did see one uh, in a dealer in that had uh, uh, a damaged door, so the door was sat proud of the rest of the vehicle, but it doesn't appear to be anything there. Alloys look in very good condition. Okay, happy with that, there's no damage. So these are diamond cut alloys. They've got nice big fat tires on them, so hopefully keep them well away from the curbs. Same again on the front wheel here. Looks to be in good condition. So we've got the, what are they? 
Enna Save Nissan Leaf specified tyres, so that's on the front. And we've got the same with uh, on the back, so we just take a wander around and have a look on the other side. Car says I think it's the prettiest car to be honest. Uh, this is a means to an end. Uh, it's a journey of discovery and of uh, financial savings. But so again, we've got a leaf tire there. That's good news. And we've got a leaf tire on the back as well. So we've got four identical tires. And we'll just have a quick look at the tread on those tires. So looking at that, let's just try and find a wear indicator. Can't see one at the moment. We'll have a look when we get an uh, opportunity. That all looks good. Okay, so we're gonna hit pause there. We've had a good look around the vehicle. We're happy with the condition. We've plugged in leaf spy and we're happy with the state of health and the number of rapid charges versus level one, level two charges. At this point, we popped back inside and we then took the vehicle out for a test drive. We didn't record that, but that all went absolutely fine. There was no problem with the vehicle. So we then looked at um, actually finalizing the purchase. So we were happy to buy the car. We'd agreed a purchase price of 13,000 pounds before I actually traveled up to Yorkshire. Uh, now that price was actually a good price for the vehicle at that particular time. Similar vehicles were probably more in the region of £14,000 but there'd been a bit of a misprice on the vehicle and we agreed to meet halfway so I actually got what I felt was quite a good deal on the vehicle at the time for a Nissan main dealer vehicle and that was kind of what I wanted, something with a little bit more peace of mind over main dealer warranty etc. So at that point, it was uh, time to sort things out. £13,000 purchase price. We took approximately half of that out on Nissan Finance. And the reason we did that was that you got a £400 dealer deposit for taking out the finance and two free services. So a small service and a large service. And provided that you made the first monthly payment on the finance deal, you could pay the finance off early and still retain the free services. So £400 off, two free services it was a bit of a no-brainer to take the finance and we probably will pay that off after the first monthly payment so all in all £12,600 for a 2016 66 plate Nissan Leaf Tecna 30 kilowatt very happy with the purchase um, we're going to feature our initial drive so our drive home Keithley in North Yorkshire down south to Hampshire 250 miles was a bit of a baptism of fire um, it actually turned out to be pretty relaxing but some people probably would have thought that 250 miles was was quite a uh, quite a challenge for your first drive in an EV uh, vehicle so EV vehicle electronic vehicle so make sure you hit that subscribe button and notification icon to ensure that you continue to join us on our journey of EV ownership and broader EV experience.